Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, please consider subscribing. First of all, I would like to start by apologizing about this video and the next few videos. Apparently, I've been for two or three weeks recording on 720p instead of 1080 or 4K as I usually do. So, sadly, this is gonna affect a lot of videos that are very detailed work, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. I'm working on the, the cages. I've printed the, the cages based on the, the size, the measurements taken on, on, the, on the ship. And I'm using styrene strips. This, this one is two millimeters. The other ones are one millimeter. They are all 0.5 thick and I'm making the cages this way using double-sided stick tape on the sides to hold everything together and gluing the strips together. And as, as it's clearly visible, this is the point where the, the 7, 720p footage starts. Once again, I'm sorry. I continue to make these cages. Now I'm doing the side ones. Now I'm starting to do the paint and the weathering on the cages. I start with a base coat of Vallejo rust texture. Don't brush this, it's 
more like stapling it to leave the texture behind. If you don't want to use the texture, a similar brown color is a good base color for working with rust. After I painted both sides and everything has dried, I apply a bit of dark rust pigment now on random patterns, but covering a good percentage of the of the cage. Now I apply a bit of dark rust wash, once again I'm not brushing it, I'm stapling it, I don't want to brush and remove the pigment, I want the, the wash to help set the pigment, and then over it, while it's still wet, I apply a bit of light rust pigment, also on random patterns, covering less percentage of the of the surface To compensate the lack of quality on the video, here are a few pictures, close-ups, while it's still drying. This is how it looks. I repeat the process on the other side, but now I'm careful to have the, the crate 
lifted up to prevent the pulling of the the wash underneath that would ruin the side that we just did. Once the pieces have dried, I can put them in place. It's not easy to see, and I didn't film. But on the next, on the next jail cell, I, I will be. I have footage of it. I've worked a bit of pigments on the lines between the columns and the ribs where the the jail will sit. But it will be better seen on one of the next videos.
And this concludes today's video. I leave a few pictures of how it looks at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video, the low quality video. I hope to see you all on the next one.